Where were you? How did you audition? You did it on tape. What, what was that like? Drink later. Now talk. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, I was in Chicago. Uh, I was uh, broke, fairly unemployed, depending on how you look at the arts. Um, <laughs> Uh, I want to clear something up. I wasn't, I wasn't cleaning houses. I had cleaned my first house. Um, I, I, it, was, it, was a, it was a miraculous sort of uh, nexus point. Um, I had scrubbed my first two toilets like the week before I got this audition. And when you're elbow deep in someone else's toilet, you know, you just got to imagine things are going to go up from there. Um, <laughs> But uh, you know, I, I went the, the normal actorly route. I don't think it was too different than anybody else on the show. Sad to say, <laughs> you know, I certainly didn't uh, maybe deserve uh, to it's be given this chance. Cool. It's, it's pretty um, cool. You got this show. Yeah, it is pretty cool. <laughs> um, but I just went on tape. I went on tape, and Greg happened to watch it, and then happened to like it. I was actually then... watching it at home, and and I and I was watching a bunch of people on tape, and I saw him, and I was like. I like this guy. This guy, I'm rooting for him. He feels very natural. And I kind of just froze it, and I called my wife in. I said, take a look at this one. And, and she comes around the corner, and she just looked. And he wasn't even talking. She just, I love him. And she walked out. <laughs> the Great. first and only time that's ever happened in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and then when he came to LA and, and uh, for, for his in-person audition with the studio, um, he was going up and down the hallways in the, uh, on the lot where there's pictures of Kiefer Sutherland and other people from Dartmouth shows, and he's taking pictures of himself with... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I like this guy. <laughs> what, you, you had to capture all the people in the show have this remarkable, naive quality. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> they're not, no, I, they're not just stupid. I mean, not, <laughs> not just. No, no, they're not. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little like they came from the planet Naivete, mm -hmm. and they got put down in this world, and they have to deal with this world. And in part of that is why I think we love them so much, because we're rooting for them to maybe understand something once. <laughs> I'm, am, am I misreading this, Greg? No, I, I think that's correct. I mean, look, they, they don't have all the tools that they might need to do what they're doing, but, but like I said before, their heart's in the right place, and I think that's, you know, you, you root for that, for sure. And, um, you know, Martha's character uh, often uh, makes up a word or, or, or says it wrong, and, and, you know, I do that all the time. You know, I, I think we relate to these things. Uh, the one question I always have for you guys, the show is so absurd. How do you not crack each other up we crack each other. We do, oh, yeah, constantly. We do. A lot. It's really unprofessional. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's such a great way to spend the day. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, I, it, it's, it's new to me. Right. Know, to sort of spend the day. Well, you, you're used to shooting for two around. days, kill somebody, and leave, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's usually five or six days. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> We have a lot of fun, but the days are also so long that after right. a while, sometimes you're like, let's, let's get this done. Yeah, who gets But that's when you get the most, the most vulnerable. <laughs> because your defenses are down, you're exhausted, your eyes are pinwheels, and oh, man. There was a day where we were doing a scene, uh, and I asked Greg if it was a, an unnamed, I mean, uh, 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 like a friend of mine is named, and I asked Greg if we could use the name of my friend Heidi. Oh, man. And, <laughs> that was and, a rough night. That was really rough. <laughs> and we'd been shooting already for like 12 hours, maybe longer, I don't know. And it was the end of the day. And uh, Garrett, <laughs> he, I had to say like that I had gotten this black light. It was in the germ episode. I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> a germ of a story, but... um. Uh, and we had the black light, and he says, well, where'd you get that? And I say, my friend Heidi uh, looked <laughs> to me because she's been cleaning crime scenes. And all Garrett had to say, was, all he, the only thing he said was, oh, Heidi, how is Heidi? <laughs> Most funny thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Nothing's ever been funnier. <laughs> I could not hold it together. <laughs> Well, then, because as he'd been doing it longer than he decided maybe he had a thing for Hyde, like, <laughs> like, everything about the line reading, like, it just mutated and got weirder. <laughs> and then, he, oh, man, it was bad. We were shooting his coverage just because I was laughing over his lines. 
it was oh, it was really, whew. I like that stuff. <laughs> yeah. Say the line now. Go ahead. <laughs> Come on, let's hear it. Heidi, how is Heidi? <laughs> 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 Heidi, how is Heidi? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got a million ways. <laughs>